All right, I'm going to try out this uh, lubricating method on this mini scribe drive that I took out of my old Macintosh SE. You can see right there. Um, this is a mini scribe. I think this is a f 60 megabyte. I'm not totally sure. Uh, this is using a method that was um, published on a video that I watched. But I don't remember the guy's name, unfortunately, or his channel's name, but he's. Uh, I'll link it below for sure, and also comment on that video because I said I'd report back on my success using lubricant to get these um, the stepper motor back working on this guy. So there's the motor, as you can see. That I think is the detector for position potentially. Um, uh, but anyway, the idea is you lubricate that up with some lubricant. Now I'm not sure this is. Oh, I'm turning the autofocus back on. This is the stuff that he used, Triflow. This is a bicycle lubricant. Um, this one's very old. Can't tell if it's thickened up over time, because I don't know what it sounded like when it was new, but this one's at least 15 years old. Um, as you can tell by the look of it. So, yeah, I'm not sure if any, like, um, lubricant was gonna work, but I was gonna use this if I couldn't find the stuff. This is Hetman Rotor Oil. This is their Lubricant 11. Um, it's similarly thin, as you can tell. Um, probably good for something similar to this, plus it already has the applicator built on. But I thought I would use this stuff, since that's what the dude um, uh, used in his video, and it's also readily available. So, taking care of the high voltage stuff of this of this system. I haven't turned this on in a while, and also last time I used it, I discharged at least the, the primary uh, video, video tube. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, being careful again. Mother on speed dial and all that, so... I don't know that just having this plugged into its um, Molex power will begin it uh, to do some sort of seek test, but we'll go ahead and switch it on before I've applied anything. Try spinning up. Well, it's not entirely convinced that it's working, but it at least loaded the operating system. It took a few power cycles, um, and it continued to make that sort of similar sound that it was making for a while. But it did boot, and it did not use to boot, so... Yeah, it's it's seeking properly for a few things, but it, it does continue to make that sort of wee-wee noise, which uh, reminds me sort of of a, a Commodore's 1541 drive when it does its sort of alignment thing where it slams the head into uh, into the uh, what am I trying to say? Oh, I forgot how to shut this thing down. Special. And I can now turn it off. Where it sort of slams the head into the um, it bottoms out the head basically to make sure it's aligned properly or not aligned properly but basically gonna read track zero. So let's go ahead and do another startup see if it makes that sound again. And note how I'm doing this. this is totally not the ideal way to do this, but it works for what we need. Of course, being very aware that the analog board is right there with extremely high voltage, and of course the monitor itself. So I think a few more power cycles and it'll probably be happy, or happier, I should say. It is actually, as you can see, loading the operating system just fine. So it looks like, in this case, I actually used the Hetman oil instead of the um, the Triflow, which, I mean, I don't think it really, really matters. I just like this because I had the applicator on there. And it, after a few power cycles, it seemed to do it, it seemed to do the trick. So, yeah, um, I think at this point, all I really have to do on this machine is swap out the, the, uh, RTC battery. We, the fancy, I think German battery, yeah, way in West German, uh, the fancy German battery that is actually, you know, after 30 years, it's still doing fine and holding time. I well, maybe not holding time, but it's definitely doing okay. So, yeah, that appeared to have worked for this machine. Um, at least it wasn't booting at all. It wasn't just continually doing that same sound earlier. So I'm going to say that that definitely helped out. Um, it's also worth noting that um, while it didn't immediately solve the problem using this Hetman oil, um, I did do a couple of light knocks on the drive. So I, not while it was spinning, but I did sort of lift it up gently and drop it on the table, lift it up gently and drop it a couple times on each side. That seemed to help out a little bit, or I'm not, I guess what I did is multiple fixes at once, so I don't know exactly which fix or properly repaired it, but yeah, that's, um, 
me trying that out, and it's good to see that this machine boots up again, because that was kind of sad that, making me sad that the other machine didn't boot, that it didn't boot up. So, yep. And, of course, while reassembling this, be extremely careful about the whole um, CRT and the entire analog board. I just try to keep away from that, because I don't know, I don't, I don't want to just bridge out these capacitors to zap them out. Um, and I'm doing it, as I said, with somebody just over, over the wall from there. So, I can again, do CPR if I hurt myself. Anyway, that's that. I'm going to do a few more power cycles before I call it good. And, uh, yeah, that method seemed to work. Thanks a lot. All right, and here we're running a scan, scan of uh, using disinfectant. And I just wanted to catch the little stepper motor being cute. The little guy. Better angle, maybe. This is tempting fate, check this out. Oh, hold on. Ooh, that. Yeah, that wasn't smart, okay. <laughs> Cycle power. Yeah, that, that scuzzy cable is delicate. Well, it still seems to boot. Though, doing that during the disinfector may not have been a great idea. Mm, gotta love that electromechanical goodness. And what I'm doing here is effectively exercising the drive, so hopefully that helps it work in whatever oil I did put in on the uh, the end of the stepper motor spindle. And ideally, I'd be letting this run down into the motor, um, but I'm actually letting it sort of run the other way. But I think the wicking um, effect should be plenty. Do you think you found anything? I don't know. What if this is just deleting all my stuff? Oh, it's got errors, I see. Error may have been related to the restart, but... So I'm going to see what other drive teching applications I have. I might need to get a, a floppy disk loaded to, to do any more um, comprehensive checks, but I do have a couple of errors there. not entirely sure what those are related to. But once it's all back together, um, it should be a little bit better for me to get to check all that stuff. So really all I need to do again is that battery. Discharge the monitor so I don't, so I don't give myself a little zap.